Pete Carroll's one-handed catch wasn't the only highlight in Monday's practice. Monday's most impressive catch was made by Pete Carroll. As the 12th practice of training camp kicked off at the VMAC, a punt was sent spiraling towards the Seahawks' ninth-year head coach. Carroll closed on it, centered under it and caught it with one hand, trapping it firmly between his left hand and his leg. Not bad for a 66-year-old. The Seahawks' more established players weren't always as successful on Monday. Veteran wideout Brandon Marshall showed some rare inconsistency with his hands, dropping a couple routine catches in individual drills and juggling a fade to the corner of the end zone in a team period. He eventually came down with the football but was ruled out of bounds. Slot wide receiver Keenan Reynolds was more impressive, making a number notable catches for quarterback Russell Wilson as Reynolds continues to fill in for the injured Doug Baldwin. Speaking of injuries, rookie running back Rashad Penny left the field with the medical staff during practice and did not return. When asked if Penny is okay after practice, offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer said, I think so, without running backs Penny, CJ. Pro size, hip, and starter Chris Carson, likely day off, Mike Davis and J.D. McKissick gobbled up the available reps. The starting safety tandem was free safety Tedrick Thompson and strong safety Delano Hill again on Monday, though backup strong safety Delano Hill made a nice pass breakup on a quick out route intended for tight end Nick Fannett near the goal line. Rookie linebacker Shaquem Griffin also flashed with a diving breakup on a pass from quarterback Austin Davis. Play of the day in this case, Rashim Green made the plays of the day. A one-on-one -on -one pass rush drill, the rookie defensive end easily beat rookie offensive lineman Skylar Phillips with a speed rush to the outside for a sack. On the following reps, Green bull rushed Phillips, overpowering him so dramatically that Phillips fell backwards and Green nearly trampled him. It was another positive performance for the 6'4", 279-pound rookie that finished with 1.5 sacks in the preseason opener against Indianapolis. Injury report The following players sat out Monday's practice, offensive lineman J.R. Sweezy, ankle, Isaiah Battle, knee, and Jamarco Jones, ankle, defensive end Dion Jordan, shin, tight ends Ed Dixon, quad, and Clayton Wilson, unspecified, wide receiver Doug Baldwin, knee, cornerbacks Byron Maxwell, hip, groin, Nico Thorpe, wrist, and Trevon Reed, unspecified, linebackers Josh Forrest, unspecified, and DJ. Alexander, unspecified, safeties Maurice Alexander, hip, and TJ. Mutcherson, unspecified, defensive tackle Joey Ivey, unspecified, and running back CJ. Pro size, hip. Amara Darbo, hip flexor, was limited to individual drills, while running back Rashad Penny left practice with an undisclosed injury. Quotable, as you can see, they're bonding and playing really well together. You have Tedrick, who's doing a great job of staying in the deep middle and making tackles on the run and really throwing his body around. And McDougald is really smart, and he really does a great job of getting everybody on the same page and making sure that the coverages are right, the checks are right and the formations and all the things match up. He's really bright. Matching him with what the linebackers and the D-line are doing, I've been really happy so far, defensive coordinator Ken Norton Jr. on the chemistry between starting safeties Bradley McDougald and Tedrick Thompson next up after a day off, the Seahawks return to practice at 11.15 a.m. on Wednesday. Highlights